Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Borisno 0.8. Now, when we left off, we had just kind of suffered a bit of a setback, and that was a little bit of a shame, wasn't it? Because we had a pretty decent army going. But I've spent a little bit of time here, you know, managed to get some wages from our village as a vassal of the Soot Giants, and... We now have a pretty reasonable army because I, I fought some things, but it's extremely difficult to find bandit parties in Parisno. I was also able to do one task, mm, one task of delivering a letter to someone in the Drahara territories for one of our people. And I don't even know why they wanted to send a letter there, but apparently they did. And as you can see... I just thought I would start recording here because of the ab absolute ridiculousness of this request. Because I have passed by Zeladek the Chosen One multiple times. He has an army of about 285 and he has, I think, two patrols that are helping him as well. Two escorts. And this guildmaster is like, hmm, yes, there are some regular bandits outside the city and they have been attacking our caravans. And we'd like you to track down Zeladek the Chosen One as well. So, how much are you going to give me for that? 50? You're going to give me 50 bucks? Are you going to, you're going to give me 200? No? No? Well, I hope that it scales. I hope that the mod creators have scaled this because if they haven't, then this is a hilarious, this is a hilarious algorithm that the Guildmaster has come up with here. And I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no because I have a feeling that Zeladek, he's a little bit too weak for us to attack. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's way too powerful. So, yeah, not going to be doing that. Thank you very much. I am going to attempt to buy an Enterprise after, obviously, I have gained a little bit more money. My money right now is kind of bad, mainly because my weekly cost is quite high, as you can see. Now, we have leveled up. So, let's let's see. What are we going to take here? Well, I suppose some more agility would be quite nice and more Weapon Master because we do want to get a faster swing speed with our polearm. Now, do bear in mind that when I fight in combat, I'm generally going to try to say, you know, comprehensible things because if I don't say that, then obviously I'm just making no sense. Like, oh, well, I'm not going to say anything. But anyway, point is, I like to concentrate and make sure that I'm saying things correctly. Otherwise, you know, I'm just going to say all kinds of weird, not actually making sense stuff. So, yeah, it would be kind of nice for us to actually make sense, wouldn't it? So, anyway, I'm going to try and track down some snow walkers and snow crawlers because it would be about time, I think, to not actually be attacked by the Illica. Oh, no. Are you, are you really? Oh, they are faster. Oh, no. Well, on the upside, this is actually really, really good, as you can see. 1,466 paid off my debt earlier, and so every single thing coming from our village is now going to be absolute gravy, and that's fantastic, because then we'll actually be able to affect a little bit of change in the world and actually start making a difference, I, I, I guess. I mean, you know, we're obviously going to try and do that Ilika Falki quest. Alright, I think I may have taken advantage a bit too much here, but anyway, point is, the Ilika Falki patrol that was attacking us and attempting to chase us all the way off the map and everything, apparently that has now been attacked by a patrol from the nearby faction, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, this particular... <laughs> Ooh, yes, this particular unit that is left because I, I managed to get there when there was only one remaining as you can see look at how hilarious that was we are very very weak right now aren't we yes very very weak if it took that many of us just to kill one of them now that's hilarious so as you can see there we go yes it was fortunate to have you nearby oh i was really very much hoping that we'd be able to capture and recruit the prisoners that they had available there but apparently I was a little bit not lucky in that respect, because they had 84, yes, 84 prisoners, and it would have been absolutely fantastic if we could have taken advantage of that, because they had some really, really strong prisoners, but I guess some of those prisoners are just ineligible to actually be taken. So anyway, there are a bunch of Ilika Falki units still running around here, got to be really careful. 
Okay, so this might be a little bit more our liking. Obviously, I have 74, so it's kind of outnumbering them heavily, but in Parisno, I don't think you can ever outnumber someone too much, because as you saw in the previous little clip, the Ilikafauki knights, at least, are so powerful that they would probably be able to take on our entire army with about 10 of them. And that is, in my opinion, insane. But obviously it really just depends, but mostly it's because our soot giants are, well, mostly using cutting weapons, and none of them have any piercing weapons or anything, and the AI is unlikely to use the thrusting attack with the sword and things, so yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. But these guys, these snow walkers, snow crawler people, this should be... Okay, I hope. Now, yes, I have zoomed out of, you know, uh, uh, to increase the field of view, I suppose you could say. I, ha I do actually do that with every single character I play. So, yeah, I don't know whether you've noticed that before. But anyway, the point is, is that we do have a very nice pole arm. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, there we go. Apparently, I can just click on yes on that retreat thing. So, thank you very much for letting me know about that. And otherwise, we did lose one technically one volunteer so that's absolutely fine we can rescue some uh, some refugees and things I'm not particularly happy about that but okay it's absolutely fine Ooh, we do get to take a little bit of some better gloves that's always nice and no nothing else really but most of this can be sold okay so this might be a little bit more our liking here we have 19 against 75 so I'm not entirely sure whether that's going to pose more of a threat because they do have oh no they actually have cavalry well i was not anticipating that but okay that's absolutely fine let's just tell our people to stand closer i don't know whether that's going to make a difference yeah come on take that take that yeah there we go you're ah oh, i thought he was dead for a second i thought i actually killed him oh well let's just do that ah yes he managed to get out well that's a shame but we are absolutely destroying them which is nice oh i i'm i'm kind of kind of a bit surprised about that because I thought to myself, ooh, we've never fought these guys before. It might be a little bit difficult. I've only fought beforehand about, I don't know, about five to ten size bands of snow walkers, snow crawlers. So obviously anything more than that and I'm a little bit dubious about it. But there we go. No casualties whatsoever. I'm actually kind of surprised about that, but oh well, that's, that's rather nice. Ah, this might be more of a challenge. We have 30 against our 77, and, well, the previous band of Sakaar Raiders, they just did not stand a chance, but maybe these guys will show us that the Sakaar Raiders are a force to be reckoned with. It's unlikely, very, very unlikely, because, I mean, we have some pretty decent units. I mean, they're not actually that good, because they have, well, they're very, very low level, but okay. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm not going to actually get myself killed being at the front of this charge here. But it seems like I've not taken any damage so far, so I suppose that's good. Uh, come on now, let's see if we can do some nice thrusts. There we are, that's what we like to see. Maybe I can get a little bit of damage with the, with the slashing and... Uh, well, yeah, not, not really happening, is it? Yeah, obviously, this is quite long. This is, I think, probably the longest polearm I've ever used, so that's kind of a problem. Ooh, that was a nice bit of damage there. And we have improved our proficiency quite a bit since last time, so I suppose that's probably helping a little bit at least. But there you go. We actually didn't even lose any of our giants this time, which is relatively good. And I wonder whether these... Oh, they do level up. Oh, fantastic. Parisno units are the best, as far as I'm aware, so I'm going to try and level those up as much as possible. So, we've now ventured into Draharan territory, a little bit further away from our soot giant friends. Hopefully, our, well, our village will not be raided, because that is the only way we're able to sustain this army right now, which is a little bit worrying in itself. Now, I'm just showing a little bit of the selling here from our previous Sakaar raider. D defeat, victory, whatever you want to call it. They, they were defeated, we were... We we attain victory, obviously, but anyway, point is, let's go into the tavern here. I'd like to see if we have, uh, I thought that was a ransom broker for a second. Oh, my, oh, there is a ransom broker. Okay, so we do have some prisoners, and we could hire some slaves as well, which I think I might like to do. Only 146, really? Wow, that's very bad. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's level up a couple and see what we have to work with. Not much, actually. Okay, so these become prisoner recruits. Prisoner Initiates. I could lose some of the Soot Giants, so I'm going to do that, and then we're going to go and get about 10 slaves. 
from the Ransom Broker, because I think Gladiators are pretty good. And yeah, there are some companions here, but I am not going to, by a far margin, have any amount of money to be able to hire them. So let's see. I'd like to hire, I, I, I want 10 actually. Do you not have a 10? Okay, you don't have a 10. So I'm going to just get five male and five female slaves. Yes, there we go. Ah, fantastic. There we go. That's just what we like. Okay, so they become camp defenders, mercenary, glory-seeking men. Yeah, that's absolutely fine because apparently the glory-seeking men, they become units with blunt weapons. So that's going to be kind of nice because then we'll be able to take a couple of prisoners, which will always be very useful. Okay, so we have now ventured into the desert, and obviously we did kind of get absolutely destroyed when we first started the series with some sandwalkers. So I'm thinking we're going to take a little bit of revenge on these guys. Now what's going to happen is... I'm probably going to die, <laughs> because that's usually what happens when I'm like, hmm, yes, let's go and get some, go and get some revenge, yes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to definitely happen like that. Luckily, however, they don't seem to be mounted, so this is going to be a lot easier than I anticipated. Obviously, we do have some maiden recruits, as well as some huntsmen, and they will take full advantage. Oh no, I'm being shot with throwing weapons. Go, my people, run in. Oh, oh, yep, yep, I'm taking quite a bit of damage from their throwing weapons, but it's okay. I can just hide behind the, the lines here, and maybe I can do a little bit of damage. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's some nice damage right there. And maybe I can get a little bit more. I actually like fighting people that are on horses a lot more than actually fighting them on foot. I mean, I don't really mind not having a horse or anything. I actually just mind the enemy not having a horse. I think it's a lot easier for me to kill them when they're on the horse, but... Well, maybe that's just me. Maybe it's because then we get a little bit more speed bonus, because technically they're using their own speed. You know, we're using their own speed against them, that is. Anyway, let's try and take a couple of these. Let's see what kind of loot we're going to gain from... Ah, yes, very nice armor to sell. And that's the reason I'm able to actually gain a little bit of a profit here as well, if you were wondering. Okay, now this is going to be the true test of our army right now. I'm actually thinking I'm going to leave a second, and we're going to just level up a couple of our units here, because obviously we don't want them to be too low level. And yeah, I think that's going to be pretty good. Okay, so yes, that's it. Okay, fantastic. So let's head in once again. Now, yeah, this is a bit of a problem, because obviously they only have 25 less, and they do, I think, have better equipment than we do. Obviously, I'm a little bit low in HP, so let's just take a look again and see what my first aid is. My first aid is Y, so let's press Y right now and heal ourselves, and it would be probably a good idea to heal our forces as well, just in case, and we're now gonna move in. Now, this is I think probably a good time to stand closer once, I think. We don't have... Oh, we do have some cavalry. Oh, that's going to be quite handy. Is it going to be handy? I'm actually unsure about that, really. Maybe it is handy. I think we're probably just going to actually charge in everyone because they're just going to run at us with thrown weapons. And actually not run. They're just going to stand there and shoot us with thrown weapons. So that would not be very good. Hopefully the cavalry will break them up a little bit as well. But yeah, hopefully I'm not going to get targeted either because as you can see, the sandstalkers are very, very powerful for the most part. And I'd like to be... Uh, yeah, there we go. Yes, very nice. Oh no, now I'm being targeted. Need to get out my shield a little bit. Okay, there we are. That's what we like. Oh no. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes, there we are. Yeah, that's what we like. Okay. See, now that's exactly what I mean. The proficiency of the pole arm came through there by being a little bit faster than their two-handed sword, which is exactly what we wanted it to do, actually. Okay. Now, is there anyone else? That's it? Wow. Okay, so we're able to take on a band of 50. Now, that's, that's impressive, even though we did lose quite a few. We did lose quite a few, but on the whole, that just means that we are going to get stronger and stronger. Ah, we found a companion. Oh, yes. Now, this is a companion that I had in my previous series of Parisno, and I personally feel like he's really good. I don't know if they've changed his stats at all, but he's only 600 Aurums, and that's partially the reason why I'm extremely excited, because usually the companions in Parisno are very expensive. So, there we go. Let's get him to join us. Very nice. And we do have a ransom broker here as well. Do I have any? 
I think I do actually. Yeah, I have one prisoner. Kind of pointless, but so yeah, it's fine. Okay, so let's go and see. I'm gonna get some more glory-seeking men here, and uh, yeah, they actually really they become village guards and things. Uh, okay, well, that's fine, I suppose. I thought they became something with. Hmm. I thought they became something a little bit better than that, but maybe we just need to go through their up various upgrades, I guess. Okay, so Slighter is now going to be at the top. He has a horse already, which is always very nice. Let's take a look at his stats. Ah, his stats are a lot better than they used to be, I think, because I seem to remember him having extremely bad stats when he first started out, but I suppose because of the increased difficulty in Prisoner 0.8, it would only make sense to make a companion that is a little bit more in tune with that. And all of his attributes right here are very high, and I like that, because that means he can do a wide variety of different things. As you can see, he has tracking, he has horse archery, riding, athletics, shield, weapon master, all of these skills. Even if they are just one point, that makes a difference. So, pretty happy with that. He has four in persuasion as well, so he could be a very, very good emissary at some point. And he is mostly a thrown weapon specialist by the looks of things. Yes, he is. He's using throwing daggers, and he also has a pretty decent one-handed weapon. So I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, I think we're probably going to head on. There's another band of sandwalkers around here. I believe. Aha! Hello there! There's only 14 of you, unfortunately. Are you going to run to some of your friends, please? Oh, no. Really? Really, Emir? Really, Emir Faris? I, I can't believe it, really. I mean, why would you run into someone that has a greater party than the person chasing you? No idea, but... That's what happened. So, yeah, I think with that, I'm going to be ending this episode of here. I thank you very much for watching. And we're doing a little bit better now. Our progress is, well, getting on, isn't it? It's it's not setting us back too much, but it's it's kind of a bit of a slow progress. Got to be very, very careful in Prisno, this version at least. So, yes, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.